and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hinda, varemini. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. And we had to kick it off with a black coffee song because uh, it's his birthday today. He turns 43. Mm. Wow. Doesn't look a year over 40. Yeah, he looks very young. He ages very well. This is the song that made me fall in love with Black Coffee. When this song came out, I was like, oh my goodness, what the fuck is this? How long ago was this? This was, uh, came out in 2007. Oh. Yeah, one of my favorite songs he's ever done. Ah, this one killed it. And since then, you know how many hits he's done? <laughs> wow. Plenty. Yeah. yeah. But I've never really been like a big fan of house music. Oh yeah? So I can literally like point to a number of Black Coffee songs that I know. Yeah. Me so, too. Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, welcome to Ladies and Gentlemen, episode 40, <laughs> Podcast and Chill. Len is here, uh, I am here, and if you're wondering who that voice is, it is our guest ghost lady. Hi. And we've got so much to talk about on the podcast today. Let me just start off with, unfortunately, uh, we have lost the ghost lady. So we need a new ghost lady chief. <laughs> now we'll have, we've got a, we've got a visitor, we'll, we'll just have visitors come through. Yeah. That's fine. But what do you think? Do you think people should like enter if they want to be a ghost lady? Wouldn't that be cool? Open up the industry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ghost lady comp- I kid I wanted to do it the other week and then you were all up in my face. <laughs> like, so now you think it's a good idea. I've always thought it's a good idea, oh, but we so couldn't cool. do it because we had so a ghost bad. lady. <laughs> she wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we are looking for a new ghost lady. If it is you, uh, drop us a WhatsApp, drop us a video explaining why you should be the ghost lady. Uh, on our WhatsApp line. Is it still functioning our WhatsApp yeah, line? Yeah, it works. It's just temporarily out of city. <laughs> <laughs> Or drop us an email. Uh, all the info is right here. Podcast yeah. at thisismag.com. That's if you want to be a ghost lady on the show. You know, you can't just assume people want to be ghost ladies. Why wouldn't you want to be? This is like the coolest. Yeah. You yeah. get to say whatever you want and nobody gets to see you for you to account for Exactly. It. So you can talk a lot of shit. And by the way, if you want to be famous, then this is not the channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> But if you're a ghost lady, like you're a ghost, nobody knows who you are. Yeah, but that's the problem. That's what we had. The problem we had with our previous ghost lady. She wanted to be famous. Okay. <laughs> I plead the faith. Oh my I god, I plead guys. the faith on we're, that one. We're holding her back, chief. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the faith on that one. I'm not involved. I'm not involved. Uh, another announcement to make is that we are officially on iTunes. Ooh. Yes, you can now check out the podcast on iTunes for all you iPhone people. Oh, nice. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know. When did this happen? Uh, it happened on Friday. That's when you got accepted. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, so you go through a process. Yeah, this whole process, and then now I'm trying to get us on Spotify as well. Oh, that's okay. dope. Yeah. What yeah. is Spotify? Spotify. What is that? It's like iTunes. It's the same. It's like it's like a music streaming platform. Yeah. Um, I think it's Spotify and iTunes and there's something else. I think. I think there's another one. I can't remember. Are Watch you guys out. excited about the uh, the roast of AKA? Because it's premiering tonight. Absolutely not. Where is it premiering? No interest on? whatsoever. On uh, Comedy Central. Ah, Chief, I, I don't have premium, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Come watch it at our house, then. Ah, I don't have premium, Chief. <laughs> Why are you keen on it? I don't know. I'm just not really an AKA fan. Like, I just, I, I don't find them interesting. I don't really, no, not interested. I, I watched the Sumizi one. Did you watch the Sumizi? I did. That I did. Fun. That was lit. That was, that was awesome. Was, actually, but it was always going to be awesome. I mean, it's Sumizi. My favorite roast to, to this day in this country is still the one... Yeah, Steve Hofmeyer. Oh, that was, that was lit. That was lit. That, that was, was lit. I didn't see that so, one. So, I think Kenny Kunene subsequently <gasps> came out. That was amazing. That. I love Kenny's I, one. It was, for me, it was okay. Yeah. And then, so Mizi's one was dope. The panel was dope. Yeah. Uh, Skumba killed it. Yo. Yeah, he was. They were throwing, <laughs> hey, they were throwing I saw Nomzamo in some other light. <laughs> Uh, fresh, <laughs> yeah. um, even what's his name? The African singer guy. Uh, f- is it Johnny Flismus or I don't know? No, no, not John Flismus. John Flismus, I think, was in the first one. Wasn't it Steve Hoffman? No, no man, I'm talking about a... the Somizi one. There was yeah. the African singer. It's the guy with the, with the guitar, who walks around with the guitar. No, I no, think. no, not him. He's don't like... they all, all the Africans <laughs> sing? No. <his> song? <laughs> no, he's not a singer. I think he's a comedian, actually. No, no, no he's just, there, is, there was a comedian. There was a comedian. Oh, a, I white, you were a white guy to him. was a comedian who was like wearing like. Those woolen jerseys that oh, yes. like, your grandmother yeah. would sew for you. He wasn't yeah. bad. And there was uh, a white guy who is a uh, he sings Trafalgar's man. What's his name? Let like, me try oh, find I, him. I yeah. think I see his, his face. Yeah, I see his face. Like yeah, a, I see who you're talking about. Yeah, he's 
It's 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 it's. I'm actually getting very. Kurt Darren. Kurt Darren. There we go. There we go. What did you Google? Afrikaans guy. It's so easy. Roast. Afrikaans guy with the guitar. <laughs> so yeah, I thought he was pretty dope. Yeah. Um, Mbalula as well was pretty dope. Yeah, that was he was, it was just after he got let go as sports minister. Yes, yeah. yeah. But, but it felt had... like the roast of Ntsiki Mazwai more than Sunil. Yes, it did. True, it did. True, true, true. Yeah. But I mean, she signed up for that. I mean, it was always going to happen. Yeah. Ntsiki's got just a whole lot of backlash. Like... So we're recording this Monday night. So by the time this video out comes out, I'm sure like uh, the roast of AK is going to be trending because it's pyramid yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we'll check it out. Uh, I wanted to go, but by the time I woke up, Tickets were sold out. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, ah. I don't know. Fun. I don't think it's going to be as great as Sumisa because just looking at the panel, they all look like AK's group. Who's on the panel? Uh, jeez, man. Okay, let me go. Panel. Papa Penny is there. Yeah. He, Why? Why is he? There? I heard actually. And that Moshe, he's, what, what? Moshe is funny. I think he's Moshe's so adorable. There. Pearl Tusi, I think, was Pearl the is there. roast master. Or something Speedster, like that. I think, is there. Yeah, it you is. You see what I mean? The old, it is like... Yeah. <laughs> like, who's going to take a shot? If Speedster takes a shot at AK, he's not going to get a future. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And AK looks very sensitive. Like, he looks very... He emotional. is. He just genuinely is. But even on social a, media. He comes across as somebody who can give as much as he can mm. take. As well, you know? Because some music didn't care. He didn't care. Yeah, he didn't far. care. But he was ready, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, yeah. I, I, I'm not particularly, like, I'm not... Amped. I'm not feeling it, man. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. In any case, maybe that's just me saying I'm not feeling it because I know I don't have facilities to watch it when I get home. <laughs> Do you think they told them, okay, you can't talk about Bonang, Zinle? That I, would be so lame, though. Dude. If, it would be so lame if they're, like, but I think in the whole, not spoke. Uh, and those that know, please Because that's what we want to hear. Like, that's why people pay to go and see that show. Yeah. because we want to, you know? And my thing is, like, as... Somebody who's getting roasted, I reckon there's like a do's and don'ts type of thing mm. on the panel on some. You can't speak about this. You can't speak about this. You can't yeah. speak about that, 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 that. Which sort of like water is, waters it down a bit. Mm. But at the end of it all, there are those that are able to still maneuver and find ways to lend those punches. Mm. Like it happened with Sumizi, Steve Wolf, Maya. But I think the two of them were like, ah, just fucking bring it. Yeah. yeah. Bring it. Yeah. You know? Who do you think we should be roasting next? Next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm out. <laughs> Who would you want to see being roasted there? I would like to see Julius Malema being roasted. Oh, oh that would be yes. epic. And that would and be he, epic. He back, eh? mm. Oh no, he would be amazing. I would love to see that. I'd actually go. Yeah. I'd actually go because I'm I'm actually a fan. <laughs> nah. nah. It's in giving back, you see. Mm. Like can you roast the it? Spice. Yes. Yeah. But Actually, that commission of inquiry is basically the roast of Mushulu. <laughs> if you think about it, <laughs> if you think about it, you yeah. know. So yeah, oh, but now would be dope. Uh, and then the know. panel could be all, all the rappers his child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you make us sound like such a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Wow. <laughs> I am not involved. No, I'm That's kidding. Not, I love I'm B, the man. ghost lady. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bonang. For today. <laughs> she was actually the first person to get me on live. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Live. Yeah, like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's awesome. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. You've been around most. Ah, I went. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what, what do you guys think about The Bachelor? Have you guys been watching it? I have. I actually eh? just got into it because I'm like such an epic fan of the one in the States. And like I was just like rolling my eyes at this thing when it first came out, and I started watching it, and it's actually pretty good. It's not, it's are not there as black le- chicks. They are black chicks, and it looks like this guy is into black chicks. Oh, so is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Is but there it could Bali be, there? There is a there is a Bali, a light skin girl, I think. I don't know. I, I don't have premium chick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I keep forgetting. I'm even like getting into it. You're gonna you. talk about <laughs> Bachelorette, Rose, Game of Thrones. Don't oh, invite yeah, me to that no. part. Can't wait. Can't Don't wait. invite me to that party. <laughs> so I've been trying to get my girlfriend into Game of Thrones. So when the new one drops, she's yeah, caught she's up. Yeah, she's all right? up. Yeah. Uh, dude, we still on season one. Because <laughs> <laughs> after each episode, she falls asleep. <laughs> oh my god! How do you fall asleep <laughs> during oh my, Game of Thrones? You can't. Like that is like. We're not gonna have I a know. Game of Thrones conversation again. No, okay, no, 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 let's no, not. Thank no, you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I've had enough. Yeah. So you're saying The Bachelor? So how is it looking so far? I think it's it's amazing. Hey guys, like. 
it's it's pretty close to like the essence of the one in the states, but mm. it's got like our flavor. Mm. And the bachelor seems like a good guy. Like it just has like. Is he hot? The, he's okay. I'm not into like white guys, but yeah, he's he's good looking. Why does it have to take a TV show for him to get laid? No, he wants to get married. The whole thing is to get married. So you find the one, you have like 17 or 20 girls that you like caught at the same time. Mm. And then at the end of it, you know that you want to marry this person and you marry them. So it just shortens the whole courting process, basically. So they just basically took what happens in everyday life and put it on TV. Well, it's not everyday life. It's actually pretty out of the ordinary. Like you go on like really amazing dates. Like, okay, well, like you get flown all over the country. Okay, well, somebody's paying for it. Yes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... But they're like, setting the scene for the what romance. what I'm saying is like one guy, 20 girls. That's everyday life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but no, it, these guys don't have the money that they have on The Bachelor, guys. Do you think he smashes some of the girls? Like when no, the cameras yet. are off? I don't think so. Not yet. But it gets to that point, though. Ne- like overnight dates. Like it gets to that point where it gets steamy. So this is but like... You remember that show, uh, Vuzu Vixens? <laughs> How different is it from Vuzu Vixens? It's so different. Actually, Vuzu Vuzu no, no, no. Vuzu Vixens. Where Vixen. the girls were half naked half the time and they all wanted to be the girl that wins the guy who comes there. Was it just remember. one guy? One guy and about five or six. So there was quite I a never, number I of I never girls. watched that actually. Eh? Uh, I, I actually never did as well. Yeah. I, 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 I used to come, uh, come across it when I could afford premium. <laughs> You know which one I would watch? Uh, the Bachelor Cassie Edition. I would you what You can't even call it The Bachelor. It's Cassie Edition. It something else. <laughs> Fuck. That's like Date My Family on steroids. Yes. You know what I mean? No, but at least with Date My Family, there's some level of control. Mm. Like, you don't get to, uh, you know, get that close with these people. You just, it's a meet and greet. Date My Family, I feel like it's speed dating, but prolonged. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. married these bachelors, what what's in any isn't it like a scenario whereby like everybody is all in the house? Yes. Yeah, yes. you see. But the nice thing about it brings a different dynamic because the girls get to like see each other. So we know that we did dating the same man, which is like nice because you have control as a chick. You know, whereas when you're dating girls outside of that, the guy's probably just like shagging everyone and you don't even know about it. And that's where you know, it's so fine, if you know who you are sharing your man with, you, you have some sort of control. You, you like are, know yeah. that okay. You only need to know bases, and you don't need to know who you are sharing with. No, but that's, that's the point of the bachelor. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're married, if, if your husband breaks up with you and then goes on the bachelor, I don't know. Like that's his life. <laughs> <laughs> They're not together. If he anymore, wants though. to be a loser, <laughs> he can okay, by all means. <laughs> He's like I've been deprived. <laughs> I'm just going to go at it. <laughs> unleashed. <laughs> yeah. A lot of guys like being unleashed. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't know. I wouldn't yeah. know. A lot of guys like being Is unleashed. Is My Family still a big thing? I haven't watched it in such a long it's time. I don't watch Sunday. it anymore. It's him. still on. It yes. is still on. Wow. It's still on. But you know what? I, when I catch an episode, like it's, it's like chances. You know, it's like people that are not really... They just really want to get famous. They exactly. Get, they just want to come on and just like and, and like previous, train. Our previous ghost lady must go there. Maybe we must. Oh, take you guys there. are so <laughs> savage. <laughs> Maybe you must go there. Me? Yeah. We'll be like, ah, this is McG from podcast, podcast and shit. <laughs> Wear t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> You, I promise you a subscription would be but that's what, out of this world. I think that's what people do because a lot of people seem of course, to be going that's there exactly to what they do. whatever Push they business. Business. Yeah. yeah. Wear a t-shirt. Go there with my equipment. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, during, during my spare time, you know, I, I, I'm I a vlogger, you know. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, I'm looking for a girl. And you know you're not looking for... You're not looking for a girl, really. It's just a free date and you get to drive around in that cool car that they drive with. Do you know why he's saying I'm a vlogger? Because do you know Rana Kara? This is not a podcast. You're vlogging. (laughs) (laughs) Don't lie to us. You're fucking vlogging. (laughs) That is so classic. Oh my God. But how do you get onto it? How do you get onto it, my friend? I suppose you write. You send an email to the guys that work there. Yeah. Or let's let's send an email now. Why not? For who? I I think you should. For yourself, MacGyver. But don't you get those details after the show is done? Okay. No, but you can get the details on the website. Yeah. Oh, they have a website? Yeah. yeah. How? I don't it's know. on Mzanzi. It's a proper production, bro. No, no. I know it is a proper production. Let's, let's draft. And my signature is the podcast and chill signature. 
<laughs> Let's draft the email. Uh, good day. Hi. Uh, this is... My name is Meg G. My name is Meg G. And... Oh, shit, wait. If you go on... Oh, no, no, then... It means if you go, then you're going to meet other families. Because I would have thought that maybe they would make you one of the guys that a girl is looking for. That means you would have That would a be family. the worst so possible outcome. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst possible outcome ever. Like, just be specific that you want to be the bachelor. Yeah. My name is Maggie. Yeah, yeah no. We know, we're, still, we're still compiling the draft. But who would be your family? Oh. <laughs> hey. I'd be your family. I'll volunteer. If my family's rich, they're gonna embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> can get friends to be your family? You actually can. Yeah. Maybe I'll get you. Mm-mm, I'll get again. <laughs> Why, Len? Why? I, free but it's airtime, nice. Free airtime on television. Nah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not my style. Yeah. But do it for the team. Mm, I'm taking one for the team. How? Go for can't it. You? No. I'm gonna be very, I'm gonna be very rude and nasty to whoever's gonna come through, and you know me. Hey, but you know what'd be worse if I'm one of the guys that she must choose from? Then she's like, Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. He's not ambitious enough. <laughs> <laughs> he works from home. Yo, that is classic. <laughs> I'm he's a Nancy. He's a vlogger. <laughs> He interviews important people on, on, on YouTube. <laughs> what did, how did they describe you again in Pretoria? Uh, oh, you interview celebrities on YouTube. Yeah, aren't you that guy that interviews celebrities? Oh, you know what happened which was worse? Okay, that fight by mistake. <laughs> shooting again. Yeah, hey, shooting blades. Don't let your gun go off. Uh, so last week we had uh, the Heineken event, Ryan Giggs, yeah. uh Champions League trophy thing. Which was very cool, by the way. Yeah, freaking awesome. Thanks for the London. invite. Uh, no, it was pay invite only. Was, oh. So we were invited. Okay, weekend. yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Anyway, Big shout out to Heineken, man. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um, you can advertise on the show if you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a date my family on his own podcast. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So now there's this guy is busy taking pictures, right? So he comes to me, he's like, yo, can I take a picture of you? I was chilling with my cousin. I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. He's like, no man, you look familiar. So he's like, what's your name? I'm like, eh, ne go go ne bar. Because I hate when people recognize me. Yeah. It's, it makes things awkward. So he's like, no, man. I recognize you from there, from somewhere. <laughs> Aren't you the mushroom guy? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, man. You were so, doing an interview with Scoop, man. You were talking about mushrooms. So after all you've done in your life. <laughs> that is all you'll be known for, mushrooms. You are the mushroom guy. MacGyver. Yeah. It's like, yo, dope interview, man. Hey, hey, but imagine being called a mushroom guy. Oh, From a guy who interviews celebrities <laughs> on YouTube <laughs> to a mushroom, mushroom guy. guy. <laughs> wow, fam. Oh, man. Wow. So anything that's been happening that I've missed? What else did I miss that's been going on? What has been going on? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, a plane fell off the oh sky. Oh, my God. I think I'm starting to be afraid to fly now. Guys, right? that actually was so hectic. Mm. Like, a friend of mine, um, her husband who actually works in... Um, Ethiopia, and he was flying out last night, and I didn't know which flight he was on because I was like, "Oh, friend, is um your 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 hubby, you know, in in way where, where he was going? Ethiopia is yeah. he, is he okay?" Yeah. And like, she was like, "Didn't you hear there was a plane?" Oh no, actually, I was speaking to my husband, and he was like, "There's a plane crash, whatever." And then I phoned my friend, and I was just well, like, "I'm going to say I was speaking to my wife." Ah, soon, I told you. Guys, like, I got such a fright because I thought, oh my God, like, her poor husband is probably on this flight. And apparently, that's not the only flight. It's not the first time it's happened. Mm. So, those are brand new aircrafts, and both of them, like, crashed. Mm. How crazy. How insane is that? There's the one that went missing a couple of years ago. Yeah. The The, footballer who died just now. The owner of Leicester. The owner of Leicester. Mm -hmm. And now this. Was that a commercial flight? No, was no, it, it, was like, a, it was it was a private. Private. It was, yeah. Wasn't that a helicopter? Actually, not even a. The Leicester guy, the Leicester was owner, a helicopter. was a helicopter. Yes. And then the other was a private. Private. The, the soccer player was a private. Private place. light. Was it light air or whatever? There's one that fell in Midrand not so long ago in somebody's backyard. What? Mm, yes. hey, you never forget that one. Eh? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> <laughs> never that no. One. no. Actually, did I ever actually come back and tell you like because the. The, the the lady who was flying mm. that one mm. is actually you know I've got a cousin who's like studying medicine at GCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never forget her mentioning that too. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing a I'm doing a date my family. I'm plugging my family. <laughs> her friend was actually the lady. Can I who, date? Huh? Can I date? What? I can be plugging your family. Can I, I will date? kill you. <laughs> 
Mara wife. Other, other, pe- other people deserve I, love too. I will kill you. <laughs> Ooh, lad. Can you hear the conviction that I have in my voice? I will kill you. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, yeah. yes. That lady that fell with a plane was a good friend of hers from high school. Mm. So, yeah. So, there's that one. So, there's too many... Like aircraft Casualties. that are going down, man. Dude, whenever I fly, I'm always scared, man. Like the last flight I took was to Brazil, dude. And you know, like sometimes it shakes because of like turbulence. Turbulence, yeah. Oh, that shit scares me, bro. Yeah, that shit is. Scary. First thing I think about is final destination. Greesh. Which one? Oh, the first one. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yes, yeah. that was. It. But you, you know what's pretty fucked up, right? And I always do this to myself. You know when they say you dribble and you play yourself? I do this without fail. I watch air crash investigation almost <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Thinking, jinxing yourself, dog. And my job requires me to do a lot of flying. Oh my god! So now imagine me going into a flight. Yeah. To a point whereby, while I'm going to Durban, I'm going to Cape Town, PE, whatever. I literally put on headphones and I force myself to sleep because I don't. I don't. Take I a want sleeping pill. That's what I do. I uh, what, what if I just over, take a sleeping pill? What if I oversleep? Yeah, but at least you won't see the whole thing go down. Like you'll just be dead. You'll wake up and you'll be in heaven. Yeah, and that's if it. you're sleeping, how can you join the Mile High Club if you're sleeping? What moral high club? Mile high club. Oh, mile high club. Mm. I don't know. Mm, if you're sleeping. Uh, now, when I, when, I, when I see the plane going down, I want to say a prayer. <laughs> forgive people say a prayer that before have, you take the sleeping pole. Uh, forgive <laughs> okay. people that have done me wrong or that I have done wrong. Forgive the world. You know, say goodbye. Take a selfie. Send a WhatsApp. Those kind of things. You, you know? joined the mile high club. What is that? Were you chowing in the plane? No. You never. I fly commercial. Commercial. Where am I gonna do that? I mean, people doing commercial as well. Nah, jeez. Just doing the bathroom. Dude. There are some things that I just don't. <laughs> it's like going to the cinema and rocking at the cinema. I've never done it. I don't see any fun or joy. Do people either. actually do that? Because yes. I would be so fucking shocked. I would seriously be grossed out. You look for that with your husband, man. Spice shit up. You know what I mean? You, okay, yeah, with my husband. You look, you look for the That's most... Fine. You look for the most Dallas <laughs> boring movie. He's doing movie. it on his own. I'd be like very judgmental. You look for the most Dallas boring movie that probably has like three people watching <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> and you go sit at the back. Oh yeah, we've done that. Yeah. You know? Sit at the back and or then, right in the front. Yeah. I know well, if you're in front, you're going to see. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you're not going to see yeah, anything. This is moving. What's going on? <laughs> but if you're at the back, like, you know, we're not going to be like... Twisting yeah. our necks. You know? I've already had a hand job in the cinema. Yeah? Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken from experience. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> nah, boring. Like I said, I can't relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't relate. Live yeah. a little, yeah, Lynn. I do live. You sound like if you're in your bedroom, there's no action. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> A car, everyone's a done car. a car. Come yeah, on, we, we all have our we all have our ceilings. Like okay, your ceiling, my ceiling. He's probably done. <laughs> he's probably done some some most ridiculous shit. No, but since I, I could crashed, believe that because he's a DJ. So I could believe. Like I don't need, like I could believe you've been around the block. No, because I had a, a superstition that if you chow in your car, it brings bad luck. I didn't believe it until I wrote off two cars and I was like, okay, maybe you were <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, you're like, joking. Maybe this is the thing, eh? <laughs> I don't know if that superstition works with me, but yeah. Yeah, but there's a superstition like that. You've well, heard of it before, no? I know. I've, I've lost, heard of I've it, lost yeah. the car because of it. Meh. Mm. How so do you know, guys, that it's because of that? Like, well, I, I haven't chugged in this car. And I still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, which child is going to allow themselves? <laughs> Stop, let I'm but gonna stop not, you right let's there. Not, let's not, let's not, let's <laughs> not. Did you charge my car? <laughs> <laughs> no, you say that because my car's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Is your scooter back, by the way? No, no. I was driving here and I remember us putting your scooter in the in the boot of my car that one yeah. time. No, it's gone for service. I need 1.5 to get it out. Yo. Mm. So when you're unemployed, 1.5 is a lot. <laughs> We all just keep quiet, like yeah, nah. That's that's a lot of money. Yeah, you know I mean, no. Even if you are employed, a thousand five is a lot, bro. Nah, a thousand five is nothing, man. Okay, excuse mm. us. Okay, yo. what's but, you? But yeah, as I was saying, sorry, I interrupted you there. Uh, as I was saying, mm. planes falling down. That shit is scary, man. And yeah, that's what's the thing. That, but what's scary about a plane is when it's about to land. Fuck, it's scary. I man. think when it takes off and when it's about mm. to land. No, I think those I are think the worst. For me, those are the two. Like that's chill. Like takeoff and landing, even though some pilots land shit, but there are those pilots who know how to to rock the boat. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But with a plane falling, 
the messed up thing about it is I remember some comedian made a joke about this. I think it was John Flismas. Mm. He's like, oh, he's funny. He's hilarious. Really? Oh, I don't find him funny what? at all. Serious? At all. I think he's so... Crude. Yeah, he's too crude for but me. That's, his, that's the beauty about him. I think he had, like, everyone has their own flavor for, like, comedy. Like, everyone has their own thing, you know? <laughs> so, like... Lovely. Yeah, like, he's not my... He's not up my alley at all. Nah, I dig him. I dig him. I think it's Give cool. me your top five, Vanessa. Oh my god, it must be uh Robbie Collins, um Mojack, um Titi, um Skumba, um and Loiso. I only know two people you mentioned there. Really? Loiso and Skumba, the rest I'm like, who the hell Really? Are you about? you yeah. don't know Robbie Collins? No, nah, who's that? Isn't he the guy he who is played? So hilarious. The, 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 oh my god. The, the tall colored boy. The tall colored guy. He is, he is so funny. He was oh like my. a gay and guy Mojack on on on, 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 um, uh, on a series. Rockville. On Rockville, Rockville yeah. Mm. Let me Google him. What's his Very name? Very funny. Let Robbie Collins. Him. Robbie Collins. Robbie. Oh, I think thing is funny. Uh, I like his dry sense of humor. Who's this comedian who supports Manchester United? Louisa. He's South African. Yes, he's South African. Louisa Gideon Collins. Oliphant. There uh-huh. we go. Who am I searching? Robbie? Is he a color guy? Yes. Robbie who? Collins. Collins. Robbie. Like as in C-O-L-L-I-N-S. Collins. Robbie Collins. Yeah. You know him. Someone, if you see his face, you'll be like, ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he looks familiar. Not Bobby Collins. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> this one, it's him. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. And Dylan Oliphant, I think he's funny. He's... I like this guy. He's got Is a Dylan special... Oliphant the really, really light one, the tall one with the weird looking guy? Is he light? He's not light. He's he's got like a dry sense of humor. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. He I speaks like in a way. It's like monotone, like when yes, he speaks. Yes, oh yeah, he is funny. Yes. I love him as he's well. He's got a Netflix special with like Luisa Gola and Tumi. Is yeah. that Titi? Uh, what is that Netflix special called? Uh, Comedians of the World. Comedians of the World. Uh, there's a guy, is it the like guy, that? the last one. Because uh, I, I get it the way it goes. There's a doctor guy. Um, yeah. Doctor. He was on Pure Manate as well. He's the one who starts off. Yeah, not him. Let me see. I haven't watched that Netflix special. How is it? Oh, it's dope, man. That guy's really? funny. What's his name? I'm going to watch it tonight. He's... I think his name is Loiso as well. I think it is Loiso. Yes. Loiso my... my Dinga. That's my the one dinga. I'm saying. Ah. Yes. Ah. Oh, did funny. you guys thought you guys think I was speaking about Loisa Gola? Yes. Oh, okay. No, I was talking about Madinga. No, Madinga is very funny. Oh, yeah. Is special Gola is also funny. No, no you're kidding. but Gola has grown though. Yeah. He was never that funny. Like he's had to build up that craft. Like he's not originally funny. Kahiso is funny as hell. He's got dry sense of humor. Yeah. I don't. Ah, Kahiso is funny. It's hilarious. I actually can't oh, remember big ups on the movie, by the way. And yes. To, oh my god. To spoil that was messed up, man. Yeah, did you watch the film, up. guys? I've been meaning to go. No. I've you have to go, to go watch it. Matetwe. Matetwe. Matetwe, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I think Stay Kiniko is doing a, a really cool thing on the 14th and the 15th, if not the 13th and the 14th, where you can go watch Matwetwe at half price and all the oh, proceeds nice. go to the family. Buddha's family. Oh, yeah. That's nice, epic. Nice, That's amazing. Nice, nice. That's dope. Did man. you watch Matwetwe? You didn't take. No, I haven't. <laughs> when did you go to the movies this week? <laughs> movies are expensive. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Dream Black Panther. No, because oh, <laughs> I know that's the last time we went to the movie. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, I like Louisa my, my, my Dinger. Yeah, He's Louisa Madinga is epic. Oh, we should have him on the podcast, dude. I know him. Why is Trevor? Do you know him? Yeah, well, I don't know him, know him, but I can get your contact. I can ne- get you together with him. Yeah. Why is Trevor none of, in, in none of your lists? Oh, Trevor's co- not ours anymore, oh, okay, guys. Okay, okay. I to Trevor's PG thirteen. Yeah, and he's just he's not ours anymore, but being, guys. Does being a comedian do you have to be eighteen? No. No, I just like crude jokes. Oh. I like rude jokes. Oh. Like Trevor plays it safe, you know? He has to. He has to, you know what I mean? But there's a style for everybody. Yeah, yeah, true, true. That's but he's like never been Christmas. epically rude though. No, no, no. no he's he's always been that way. Yeah, so Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but his last special was, was was not nice. It didn't go down that well for me. Really? Son the one on Netflix? No, I enjoyed didn't that. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it. Well, I, I, enjoyed I know it. him, so I'm, I have to say I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a pretty cool guy. Fucking dope I mean, guy. to be invited by the president. Yeah. Be like, yo, dude, let's hang. Let's talk. I want you to help me with some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But big ups to him because he took his friends with. Who sees it long? And Kayat mm. and hey, that, that, that has to be the coolest clique. That is the coolest. I, I want to be part of that clique. Yo, yo, are you yo, saying yo, they're a clique because hey, most of them are Kosa? Fucked up. That has to be the coolest clique. That, yeah. I want to so be a part of that clique, bro. Yo. It's Trevor Noah. 
Siswe Tromo. Yeah, and then there's Kaya Tlang, I think, on there. Anelim Dota. Anelim Dota. The conversations they must have because they're all fucking millionaires. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Do you even think they talk about money? I of think course. it's like not even an issue anymore. It's like, and whatever, guys. You, you we have about, so much of it. So that's why we spoke about 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> Cause money, because we, money, <laughs> money is a problem up in here. The people that got money, they don't, don't talk, talk about, about money. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, that's a cool click, man. Yeah, I don't want to be part of this click anymore, guys. Like, I feel very insecure. And for some odd reason, sudden. it feels genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of clicks in the game uh, look like yeah. they are. Mm. They are there because like which they one in particular? So which one would you say doesn't look real? Like that old Zintle Lerato Khanyaho Pell to see for me. You don't think look, so? Nah, it doesn't look genuine. Maybe Pell to see. Pell to see and Zintle look yeah, genuine yeah. though. That looks like a genuine friendship. But Lerato looks like she wants to get gigs. I want association. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bless guy association. <laughs> You're so rude. Mike, you're God. so rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, but you have to align yourself with certain people if you want to get ahead. Like, mm. for instance, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a guy who is... Do we call, he's, a, he's a homie. Oh. All right. No, but there's a guy who's a homie. Ah, and we want to know. You want to know. Hey, oh, man. Man. oh, you can't, you can't just be like... And we are, okay. No, guys. Um, the guy who came here, Mac. Mac Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's like genuine, genuine friends with uh, Nelson Makamu. Mm. But he doesn't go around on some like... Yeah, Mac- I don't know who friends. Nelson is, guys. The guy who... You need to know. You need to know him. Really? Yeah. Is he an artist? Like a yeah, painter? Yeah, he's a big deal. I love, I love that shit, guys. The last time Oprah was here, Oprah bought a piece from him. Jokes. Yeah, yeah. No lies. Oh, I have to see one of his speaking exhibitions. Speaking about money, I, I came across the article, right? See? No man. <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> uh, top 10 richest people in South Africa. Do you guys want to go through the list? Please, let's go through it. I want you to guess how much the person I'm going to mention is worth. Cool. So in the top 10, let's start, start with number 10. No, 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 no. Those guys, we don't care about them. Let's start with number 6 with Patrice. Okay. Well, how much money do you think Are we is? talking US or are we talking rands? rands? rands. rands. In rants, Patrice I think probably should be... 500. Because he's a dollar billionaire. Mm-hmm. What do you mean dollar? Oh, dollar billionaire. Okay. Yes, he's a dollar billionaire. So that's 30. I that's think it's about 50 billion. 50 billion. Yeah. You I'd say just over 100. Billion. Yes. In South African rands. 25 billion rands. Oh. Okay. 25.4 billion rands. That's still a fuckload of money, guys. Have you ever met Patrice? No. <laughs> you? Of I saw him at Global have. Citizen. Yeah. Yes. Hey, no. Hey. Ait, ait, ait. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? I can break further. Yeah? His son knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> so what you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> oh, can I say when I met him? Yeah. The son was when you said Bolt was here at Mamelodi Sundowns. I think it was last year, January. The first time you said oh, Bolt came to the country and he was in the yeah. training camp and stuff. And he went to the training camp. Yeah. How is Patrice as a, as a person? He he seems pretty chilled. When did you go He just he's pretty chilled, man. Okupatao <laughs> like. When you're with Patrice, you don't speak about money because, like, you know, because you, you know, nah. he has so much you, of it. That's not a conversation. Look like, you have arrived too. Man. <laughs> yeah. Where does he even stay, dog? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. so crazy. All I know that he drives a car that's personally registered Downs, but there's many of them, so you don't know which one is which one. All right, number five is Ella William Buchanan Gray. Asa, asa, stand up next. <laughs> oh, Ellen Gray. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Ellen Gray. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, oh shit. They've got pretty dope ads. I'm a Yo, say. Yo, the ads are epic. The ads yeah. are dope. The ads are dope. Um, Ellen should be. Who goes I'd say same, 10. Same. Hmm? I'd, say, I'd say 10 billion. 10 no, billion. no, no. He's number five. He's number five. Oh, number five. So I he should be more said. than 25. So he's about 32. 27.4 billion. Yo. Number three. Uh, number four. Kuas Becker. Do you oh. know who that is? Yeah, yeah you're always schooling me. Wake about me him. up when it's black people, please. Ah, we're one. done. <laughs> <laughs> So boring. Oh my god, I can't. The Guptas so are boring. on this list. So <laughs> they once were actually. Yeah. Funny enough, at number nine, they were just under a dollar billionaire. Kurs Becker, 34 billion. Kurs is 34. Yeah, that's a guy who Guys. owns Mouth Choice. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. The guy who pays your husband. Yeah. <laughs> so the guy who buys your groceries. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay. <laughs> uh, number three is Ivan Glasenberg. I 
I don't know him. He's probably 35. 75.4 billion. The gap. Yep. God. Number two, Johan Rupert. Okay. Probably like 200. No. Johan 100. is over. Is 80 going to 90? I gotta say, I liked him 100. after the power. <laughs> Did you? Look, I didn't like him. My thing is, ne? <laughs> like, this guy's legendary. He was so annoying. I was he, just like, shut up. He, no, 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 no. He said some very, he said some truths that were very difficult for a lot of us mm, to swallow. Mm, mm, mm. Like what? That if you've got money, you go spend it. Yes, it's not all of us. Yeah. You go spend it at Taboo. But this... we're always talking about people who go to Taboo and come out with a bill of 200,000 rands in one night. Yeah. But you must understand that that comes from somewhere. You can't just make a statement like that and then not really unpack why people spend money like that in the club. Uh, like it's take just... a guess. How much it is? What? Johan Rupert. He's know, 80, like... going to 90. You? Guess yeah, probably. Lady? 90. Uh, 88 billion. Yeah, that's 80 going to 90. God. Yeah. <laughs> so you're right, Lynn. <laughs> and then Nikki Oppenheimer, number one. Um, 120? You live? Just under 100. 105 billion. God. What do you do with that money? How many cars can you buy? Like, you see exactly yachts? what I'm talking Kabagi about. That's the problem. Kabagi moto. <laughs> That's why I'm not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to change dynamics in his life so that he can now get it in the car. You get what I'm saying? Oh, so yes. Okay. Shame. Now. Okay. <laughs> the funny thing about it is, and we're talking about cars. Now, today, I was browsing social media and there was this trending topic and I, I i hate making references back to social media yeah it's not YFM chief or metro for that matter yeah uh <laughs> i get about to tell joe again <laughs> so the trending topic was my vision board yeah i kid you not seven out of every 10 posts that i saw their vision boards were a car cars. oh yeah 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 but you know i don't care about cars man yeah yeah that's why I drive the cars I drive. That's kind of circumstantial. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting shit. for that. <laughs> <Not talk shit. laughs> oh, uh-uh. oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, my goodness. We're almost out of time. Oh, my goodness. You used to have a mini one. But what's wrong with drive. that? You know, that's aspiration. You oh, know, what? like if you want to have a car, if you have a lot of money and, you're, and, and your aspiration is having I've, a I've car. I've got no... Qualms with it, whatever tickles your fancy. It's no. your money, spend it however you want to no. spend it. I don't, I couldn't care. If you want to swim with it, swim like mm. swimming. What can I get my uncle screwed if you want to do that shit? Yeah, uh, go right in. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? yeah, it's 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 your whatever money. floats your boat. Because if you don't drink, we spend money on alcohol. You might be thinking, why the fuck are you drinking? Exactly, that's You're true. Wasting your money, you know. But we love to, you know, get drunk. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, but alcohol Makes costs sense. money. Hey, too much. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah. It's expensive. Big up to Heineken, by the way. Uh, <laughs> see, you. see. You. Uh, they gave uh, us. Uh, hey, look. Oh yeah, speaking what, about cars, just in closing, what did you think of old Taxify going to changing to Bolt? Huh? What's happening? Taxify. They not what changed. They rebranded. To Bolt. 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 Yeah. Oh no, oh, but okay. that that makes sense mm-hmm. because they've been coming under. They've been. Ooh. Under fire. Yeah. Yo. Yo, 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 Is it new management? No, they're just changing. <laughs> it. It's like Taboo changing to, to Cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a, no, man. Taxify has been getting hit hard. And yeah. the drivers that drive taxifiers have been doing a lot of people wrong they've been doing a lot of people i thought dirty. that was uber i last no, heard stories I've being uber heard, i've never had any bad no, experiences with uber, uber. uber has the, i haven't had but uber i've heard has, uber has the 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 the, ducks, the, the ducks not ducks in a row per se uber has those stories but most that i've i've heard yeah are overseas not in south africa yes yes with so, women getting raped and stuff yeah, yeah. I, most of those stories that I hear are literally Taxify stories. Yeah, I or heard, the company formerly oh, wow. known as Taxify. I heard that on the BBC Minute the other day. Oh. Yeah. Shit, that's You actually... listen to radio now? When I'm in the car, what else can oh, you listen to? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's not like we can stream podcasts. Like I can. It. Can you? Yeah. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop going back to MacGyver's car, please. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, yeah. So they, do you think they had to get permission from Bolt to use the name Bolt? Which Bolt? Which Bolt? The same Bolt. Bolt. Yeah. Not really. Depends. They could. Do they spell it the same? B O L T. Yeah. Or is it B O L T T? No, it's B O L T. Nah, Taxify is. No, nah, I doubt they. I doubt they did. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. What's their logo looking like? It's like green. Let me show you now. 
it's like green and stuff. Uh, Does it come remotely close to what a bolt looks like? Nah, nah, nah not at all. Yeah, but that would be so cheesy though. As but well, out of like all you the just think out the box. With, they came up with bolt, bolt, Ugh. bolt taxify. There we go. See, there's the logo. But the name Taxify was cool. I love hey, it. Hey, Kenny Kunene has a new taxi app. Yeah. Kenny Kunene says his new taxi app is 40% cheaper than Uber and Bolt. Wow. <laughs> Kenny oh, so Kenny. Hey, man, nigga. <laughs> I'm sure he get it to, it takes you to his clubs. <laughs> Yo. I would go. I don't want to know. I don't know which one. I would use his so cool taxi incentive? service. Za. Oh, <gasps> did you ever go? Yeah, I played there a couple of times. I oh, loved Zaw, Zaw was guys. Amazing. Zaw was epic. I've never, been, I've never been to Zaw. Oh, Zaw was amazing. That's probably one of my best clubs ever. Yeah. I mean, people get surprised that there are so many clubs that they mention that I've never been to. Yeah. And Ink, what happened to Ink? Yo, Club Ink. Wapopola. Yes, yes. Hey, revealing our age now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I bumped into then. you once at Inc. Is it? Yeah, back in the day. Mm, did the I try, did I try Shane, you? you were so nice. Mm, did I try you were... mm. <laughs> no. What? No, actually, you were. No, you were good. Mm, what car were you driving? Day. I don't know. I met him in the club. Like, what? <laughs> Probably during the days of PLP. No? But that's an inside joke. It was when you were at YFM. Ah. So you're really popular then. Mm. Then, did you hear? Then. <laughs> Now I'm the mushroom guy. <laughs> it explains why we've got, yeah, 6,000 subscribers. That's good. And we have to take you to take my fans. <laughs> Quick shout out to every single person that subscribed. Yeah, man, do subscribe. Woo-hoo! Let's get it to 10,000 so we can throw a party for Len. He wants us to throw a party. Is that 50 episode or 10,000 subscribers? Let's see which one comes first. Which one comes first, Because yes. this is episode 40, so we've got 10 more episodes. No, I better have VIP to that party. I don't want to struggle, ne? Mm, I don't want to okay. be waiting at... The door. See, she's already Please. superstar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amaga, guys, really, no. Why am I struggling when I know people? Oh, uh-uh. goodness, we are here. Yeah, do send those videos. We are looking for a new ghost lady. If that is you, hit us up. Don't forget, Black Friday is coming. Uh, we couldn't upload last week Friday because there was load shedding in, 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 in yeah. So, uh, yeah, but we'll upload this Friday. I was going to ask, did you not pay electricity? No, I did. No. <laughs> and I've got a video coming up with Ntsiki Mazwai. It's going to drop Thursday morning. You don't want to miss that. It was lit. It was lit. She's cool. I like Ntsiki. She, she, um, she, mm-hmm. um, she was talking about a DJ that she chowed who was her worst lay of her life. And she mentioned which DJ oh, it was. She must just keep quiet. <laughs> ah, but why? She's telling the truth. Ah. <laughs> the nigga lay there like a is chicken. That, is she, was she ever positive in the actual like interview? interview? No, it was chill, bro. I don't get any vibes like how people perceive her. It. it was very oh, chill. The ticket's very cool. Yeah, it was a very cool interview. But anyway, okay. do check it out. We are out of here. Guest Coast Lady, what do you want to say, love? I want to say thank you for having me. And guys, please vote for me to come back on because, you know, the stardom is my life. I'm and voting. yeah, no, there is a vote since I've said so. And yeah, just vote for me. Wow. <laughs> Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.